Welcome back. In this video, we're just going to be taking a moment to cover some of the news that has come out today, which is that you can now self-service publish games on Epic Game Store. Uh, what this means is it opens up the, the tools and the possibility for, especially indie devs, uh, to allow you to more easily uh, release games on the Epic Game Store. Um, this works similarly to how it works on Steam, where you have a certain fee, which is around $100, I believe, for each game that you want to release. Uh, there are some other criteria as well, and we will take a look at them as well. Um, for now, uh, I will leave all the relevant links that we will be going through as well in the, the description for you if you want to peruse them uh, in your own time. Uh, some of the impor important bullet points, uh, they mention how many people you can reach on PC by uh, releasing on the Epic Game Store. Uh, they mention that you as a developer get to keep 88% of the revenue as opposed to Steam where you get 70%, so it's a considerable difference. Um, they mentioned that they have an integrated process to obtain IRS, a, I, ARC ratings at no additional cost. They also provide a professional localization for your game at no additional cost. Uh, they have the support a creator affiliate program, which is when uh, uh, you can sort of as a uh, creator get um, kickbacks from certain things by people purchasing things even though they're not buying your things they're buying through your code and such things um, and they're also mentioning that if you use uh, engine uh, unreal engine if you build a game built on unreal engine uh, and you use microtransactions so in-game stores um, then you don't pay a royalty to unreal engine as well in addition uh, to all of the other perks over here um, furthermore, you have this link here where you can click in to get some more details. And here they mention some of the things that I mentioned before. Uh, they go through the process of how you go through this. Uh, you sign in and you build and publish and you build, test and rate your game you submitted for uh, review and then you launch it. Uh, and then there are some requirements that are needed. Um, you need to have, if you have multiplayer support, you need to have a uh, cross-play across all PC stores that are involved. Um, Epic Game Store achievements, so if you have achievements, for example, on Steam, you need to make sure that you have it on uh, Epic Games as well. Uh, age rating, you need to get an age-rated game so that uh, uh, people who want to purchase your game can get an informed decision of if they are suitable for their children or not. Um, there are some content that is prohibited. Uh, sort of uh, such as hateful, uh, discriminatory content, pornography, illegal content, content that infringes on intellectual property, you do not own or have the rights to use, scams, frauds, or deceptive practices such as fake games or malware, and such things. There's also a link here for more details around that. Uh, and then uh, you need to have a certain amount of game quality, it says uh, they say that they can reserve the right to reject games that don't feel as sufficient in quality and functionality, which is a sort of gatekeeping that is hopefully going to be very good because um, Steam, although it has a very similar um, system, is essentially a cesspit of, well, trash games that are just being released there and then scamming people of money when they buy it. And uh, it, it's, it's not a good place because of it. They should, in my opinion, have a more hands-on uh, approach to it. Anyway, enough with that rant. Um, so here are the details about what you need to uh, do to achieve this. Furthermore, they also have uh, a video uh, on their YouTube channel. I will provide a link for that as well. It's available on both Twitch and YouTube, where they go through the process um, in a session where they set up a uh, an account essentially for the streamlined process of uh, publishing games. Uh, so you can see part of uh, what you need to go through. It's it's very easy uh, forms uh, with basically yes and no questions and such. So if that's of interest, make sure to check out the, the video for that. Uh, in addition to that, they also have this overview uh, video regarding these tools that are available for self-publishing. 
And lastly, this is the page where you go to if you want to start the whole process. You go up here to the dev portal. You click dev portal and you start the process of creating your organization and then you continue with your game and all of that and different stages related to that. Anyway, uh, I hope that this is interesting for you as an indie dev because uh, this will make it a whole lot easier for you to get your gate out, game out of the gate uh, and hopefully the quality will still be high on the Epic Game Store so it doesn't become like Steam. Anyway, that's going to be all for now. Keep on learning. Take care. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you did not like it, leave a dislike. Leave any suggestions or comments you have down below. Subscribe and share this video if you want to see more like it in the future. That is all for now. Keep on learning. Take care.